I'm with Team Inky Baby, a multidisciplinary group of senior engineers here at Rice University tasked with designing a low-cost neonatal incubator for the developing world. A large percentage of neonates die from hypothermia all across developing countries. There are current products on the market in the U.S. and other developed countries that help us deal with this problem. However, they are far too expensive for developing countries and have far too many components that can break and are too complex for the issue. So overall, we were able to design a low-cost neonatal incubator prioritizing temperature feedback and safety. We used a double-walled box design with polystyrene inside of the walls in order to retain temperature. The neonate is heated up using two commercial heating pads, one in the base of the incubator and one in the back wall. The heat travels through our homemade rice fabric mattress and a temperature feedback mechanism is able to record the temperature of the neonate and automatically adjust the heating pads uh, in order to maintain the neonate around 37 degrees Celsius. Should something go wrong, either the neonate overheats or a probe gets disconnected, alarms will sound along with LEDs to alert the care provider to uh, attend to the neonate. So currently it's made out of um, birch and acrylic, and the reason that it's so lightweight and thin is that it makes it easier to laser cut. Additionally, when it is laser cut, it can be flat packed, so uh, in order to ship it to Malawi, if we flat pack it sort of like Ikea, it's a lot easier to get over there. I think one of the things that really makes this project exciting is the accessibility of our incubator to countries um, like Malawi or other developing countries that are low resource. Um, when we looked at incubators in the developed world, we saw these devices that were great but cost about $35,000 for a doctor or physician. And that's really just not feasible when you look at low resource settings. But we were able to create a device that costs about $250 to make um, for the bill of parts, which means it's something that can easily be translatable in a low resource setting and can make a difference in the lives of um, neonates who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford this care. So definitely making a global impact and the accessibility is what makes it exciting.